Hello, this is Michael Keyes. I'm author of the Make More Sales series of seminars and also author of the book Unreasonable, The Power of Expectations. Those of you who know me and know my training know that I'm not a huge fan of fee cutting. I absolutely hate it. I believe you deserve every dollar of your hard-earned fee because let's face it, we work hard for it. So can you imagine my absolute disgust when I came across an article online titled Three Ways to Pay Lower Real Estate Commissions? And it says... Sellers have more options today for paring down real estate commissions or handling the sale themselves. Here are three strategies that can help put more cash in your pocket. This is absolutely unbelievable. By talking about cutting fees to put more cash in their pocket, they should be talking about paying higher fees to great negotiators to put more cash in their pocket. Just quickly, I'm running a competition for a year's worth of my training. You can check it out below. I've also put a link to this article below, but I'm just going to summarize it quickly. Basically, the author argues three key points the homeowner can save a lot of money by. Number one, negotiating your agent's rate. Number two, full service at a discount. Number three, sell it yourself. So today I'm going to show you ways to overcome the first objection raised in the article. So let's start with the negotiating your agent's rate. Articles like this highlight why it's so important that you know how to answer these questions. The article states, interview each agent. Tell them how much you're expecting to make from the sale of the house. So in other words, the vendor is going to tell us agents what they're expecting to make from the sale of the house and ask the agent if they will lower their commission to the percentage you want. So here we're going to have a seller who's going to say, I want $600,000 for a $500,000 house and I'm only going to pay you 1%. It's not going to work. You must demonstrate that if they pay a lesser fee, they'll end up with a lesser amount of money in their bank account. When I was selling, I used to tell this story all the time to prove my case that I was worth the fee that I was charging. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I was asked to appraise a house. And I appraised it between 200 and I said it's going to sell somewhere between 290 and $310,000. They said, that's fine. Leave it with us. They got another agent out and the other agent appraised it exactly the same. Said two hundred ninety to $310,000. The other agent said, if you sign up with me now, I'll do it for a flat fee of $5,000. So they went with that agent. The house sells for 290000 And I know this because clients of mine who came in to negotiate the settlement date and it worked out it was the house that I'd appraised for two hundred ninety to three hundred and ten dollars were laughing and joking that they got this house for $290,000. And when I asked them how come they were so happy about getting it for $290,000, they said we were prepared to pay $310,000. Now, if I was that vendor's agent, and if they were telling me the truth, that they would have paid $310,000, I would have got them to $310,000. $310,000 minus my fee which was $12,000 compared to the $5,000. So $310,000 minus $12,000 is $298,000 would have been in the vendor's bank account compared to selling for $290,000 minus $5,000 fee, $285,000. You'd prefer the $298,000, which is $13,000 more. So therefore, you'd be prepared to invest in a good negotiator, wouldn't you? Now, the author of this article also advocates that the vendor asks for a discount of fees and says, if you turn down, simply thank the agent for their report, their report, and let them know you'll be putting your home on the market with someone else in the next couple of weeks. It might be enough to sway them. If not, consider one of the other following ways to cut costs. And when somebody says to me, Michael, we want to use you as our agent, but we're only going to use you if you discount your fee. This is how I respond to that. And this is how I want you to respond to it. I say, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you're very intelligent people. The reason I say that is that you're testing me to see whether I will negotiate my own fee, my own wages. Because you know, if I will negotiate my own wages, my own fee, that I'm not a very good negotiator and therefore I won't be able to negotiate the highest price for your house. I want your business and therefore I'm not going to cut my fee. It works a treat. Thanks for watching today. The internet is filled with this stuff so it's so important that we know how to deal with these issues as they arise. I would love to know if you've experienced these things at all. So leave a comment below and let me know. Now I want you to be present. I want you to be bold. I want you to be enthusiastic and above all I want you to commit to believing you're worth the fee that you charge. This is Michael Keyes saying goodbye.